Alright friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will show you how to use view router and render this specific page using view router. So let's get started. First of all, we need to install view router. So for that, we can simply do npm install view router. Okay, this got installed successfully. Now let me go to web.psv file. And over here, we are using admin slash dashboard. Let me comment this line. And first of all, let me create one controller called application controller. ESP artisan make me a controller called application controller. Okay. And let me add one route. Route get uh, anything here. Let's say view. And for the controller, let's use application controller class. Let's import this and it got imported here. Now let me go to this controller and over here let's add one method called invoke. Public function invoke and inside this let's just return view admin dot layouts dot app and we haven't created this view so let me create this folders and files inside of resources views let me add a new folder called admin inside this let me add layouts and inside this let's add a file called app.blade.psp and let me copy everything from dashboard.blade.psp to app.blade.psp this is fine and now if i refresh this page we are getting 404 not found so let's fix this to fix this, we need to go to web.psp file and over here, let's add a conditional called where this view can be. Here, this view can be zero or more of any characters. So for that, we need to add regular expression dot asterisk. Here dot asterisk means zero or more of any characters. Okay. Let's save this, refresh this page and this is working. But here we are just using blade to render this page and now let's use view router. So for that let me go to app.blade.psv file. Here we have content wrapper. So let me comment this part. And currently this is empty which is fine. And inside this we need to use custom component called router view. Router view to display specific component. And it comes with a view router. Okay. So let's configure view router uh, from our app.js file which is inside of resources slash js. First of all we need to create app. const app equals create app and we need to import this create app from view. Import create app from view. Let's create a router equals create router and we need to import this as well from view router import create router from view router okay and inside this object we need to pass some configurations for routes and history for routes uh, we'll pass something and for the history we will pass create wave history and this also got imported here from view router and now let's create one file called routes inside of resources js called routes.js and from here let's create array uh, and inside this let's define path path will be admin slash dashboard and the name of the route is let's say admin dot dashboard and for the component let's say dashboard and we need to import this component but we haven't created that so let's create that components first of all inside of resources js yes. let me create a folder called components and inside this let me create a file called dashboard dot view and inside this let's create a template and we'll put that commented code here so let me go to app.blade.psp let's copy this go to dashboard.view and paste it here and we need to uncomment this 
and which is perfect right now let me go to routes.js and we need to import this component so to import that we can go over here and do import dashboard from component slash dashboard dot view and we need to use this routes uh, in our app.js file so we need to export that okay so let's just do export as default okay so that we can import here we import routes from routes.js and we can simply use it here here we have created the router so to use router in our app we need to do app.use router as a Vue.js plugin and finally we need to mount our app app.mount find the div with the id of app and we need to create this app okay so for that uh, let me go to app.layer.php and on the top over here let me define that id equals app now let me go to the browser and here we are getting the error and it is saying to install vidgs plugin view to handle or to fix this error so let's install vidgs plugin view using npm so npm install vidgs plugin view and we are getting unable to resolve dependency tree error so it is because a different version so let's install a specific version that would not get the issue 2.3.3 and this got installed but we will still uh, see this error because we need to add configuration in our bit config.js file so let me paste that configuration in our v.config.js below this laravel configuration and here is the configuration for a view and don't forget to import view import view from bit.js plugin view okay and if i save this and that error is gone let me refresh this page and here we are getting this error let me go over this tab and do npm run dev again and refresh this page and we are getting this empty screen let me open up the console and on the east console we are getting the warning and to fix this it is saying that configure your bundler to alias view to this one so let me copy this let me go to app.js and instead of import create app from view let's me paste that save this and go over here and we are not getting that error anymore and this is working perfectly fine so let me try uh, by changing some part uh, from our dashboard.view let's a one two three and it got reflected which is perfect so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one